source of the River Frim, which is in flood at the moment. River Frim rises just up from here and carries on down and links in with the main River Frim at Tellisford, not far outside of Bath. I'm going to magnet fish this first part of the river which is in flood. Uh, it always reveals stuff when the river is in flood because it scours away the bottom. Um, but it'd be interesting to see if anything appears. And the flood's due to obviously all the snow melt that we've just had. You can see the force of the water against the rope there as I'm moving the magnet back. First throw in and an old spring. Second throw in, nice piece of barbed wire. I've just got on a massive snatch now, hoping I can bring it in and we'll see what we have. I'm looking at it, hopefully it should be interesting. Nice old land marker, 1960s. Very different, probably used for holding sheep fence or animal fencing. Great stuff. A U shaped bevel, um, probably used for pushing around a cover of some sort, maybe even part of a window, but that is really quite interesting. Another piece of solid iron. Not sure of the age of it, but obviously made up something. Probably part of that bit I brought out earlier, but great stuff. Nice part of an old hay hook there. Probably used on the hay wain many years ago. Broke, so he just chucked it in the river, and here it is. A clues peg spring. You should know they do the washing around here. Another piece of angular steel. Bow shaped piece of wire. I wonder why it was twisted like that. So as we never know, but there it is. Probably used for joining fences, we're talking about. Different to say the least. A giant bolt, probably from farm machinery. And a great big long piece of bar, about two foot long, threaded on each end. And loads and loads of nails and screws. See, I've got another snatch on there, quite big, and it's moving down with the current in the river. Uh, I'm hoping it'll be something really impressive, but you never know, it might not be. But hope is nine tenths of this game, I'm sure. Nail and an alien thing in your bottle. Great stuff. God, I'm getting excited now. I don't even see down there, just by the bridge, I've had an enormous great snatch, and I've got a really old heavy piece of agricultural uh, machinery by the looks of it. I'm going to haul it on out and we'll take a closer look. Quite a height to haul it up and it's quite a weight too. You see I'm still fighting with it down there uh, but I'm not going to give up. I'm going to try and get it out of Hell of a thing. And I've managed to get down to it. Hell of a weight. It says post office telegraph oblique telephones so it's part of a really old uh, manhole cover that's been discarded and found its way into the river absolutely really nice thing to find being some London wall flat or London flat wall I should say very nice indeed so my biggest and best find of the day has got to be this I'm going to go over to the pub in a minute, which is just over there, and offer it to them. 
There's a bit of local history and interest. Uh, great thing to see there. Post office. There we are, telephones. Really interesting and heavy. Weighs about a good 50 kilos, I think. Mostly bits of rust down here, but you can see it's quite a treacherous spot, so I'm not going to stay here for very long at all. We can get going in a minute up further. More rust from the underside of the river frame there. Great big long piece and a short piece. My most modern find here, T-shaped scooter handlebars. Really old part of a door sliding bolt held together with rust or fused together with rust over the centuries or over the years. I shouldn't say centuries because I don't really know how long it's been in there. But an old find nonetheless. Twisted old piece of bar. Another giant bolt and a piece of iron. Didn't realise my square meal today was going to be iron, but nice square piece of iron. Things of bolt plate. Nice old stone pin. Got my ring of confidence now, nice big washer. I think I got some old iron shot there. Just one piece deformed. Nonetheless, I'm sure that's what that is. Another piece of indescribable steel. It's old drainage culvert here. And just pulled out this massive steel stake here. Agricultural, 18th century, very nice. Also pulled out this massive, heavy piece of cast iron drain from the same area at the coal here. Ending my trip in this, and my adventure in this beautiful little village, and uh, what a good day it's been.